morning, good people. We had a little power outage here. The weather's been getting crazy at our prairie. But uh, my name is Brother Vinny. We're coming to you from San Antonio. We had the power out, you know, go out. So I'm just going to see if I can fix it. But, you know, as we're going through this, little power outage reminded me of, uh, you know, we have Halloween coming up and purgatory uh, was one of the things that came up in my mind. But, you know, the catechism talks about purgatory as a place of purification for the souls who have gone before us, those people who have died. And so, you know, the church teaches that we should, you know, offer our prayers for them and pray for them and, you know, hope that they be uh, granted a place in heaven with God the Father. Uh, and so it's a place of pur uh, purification and cleansing, you know. So it's really cool. And it also reminded me of a, there's a, there's a story of um, an old Spanish uh, friary, uh, Père Antoine, uh, who was a, uh, a Spanish friar who went to New Orleans and very influential for the city. Very, uh, you know, he stood up for the poor, um, act, active, you know, was an activist against the government and did a lot of great things for the city. You know, um, he served the poor and helped the homeless, you know, in many, many different ways. Um, and so there's a restaurant named after him and there's even an alley named after him right next to the cathedral. So if you go to New Orleans, you got to check it out. But, um, yeah, and so, you know, a few years later, he passed away, and some say that he still haunts the city, like walks around during Christmas time and when it's rainy outside, um, and people can still hear him, you know, whistling as he's walking with his, with his hood. So it's crazy, man. And we've had some weird things happen in our house, too, you know, uh, like the power just went Go ahead. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh,